So you're at church one day and someone comes up and says, hey, could you be part of the worship team and help us lead worship or maybe even lead the worship? And you say to them, well, I don't have a guitar. All I have is a baritone ukulele. The question is, are you able to lead worship with a baritone ukulele? My answer is, in my opinion, definitely. So remember, the, and this is tuned with a low D, so it's just like the bottom four strings of a guitar, D, G, B, E. I've done some reviews on this and talked about this particular baritone. I think it sounds great and will work really well for worship. So that's what we're going to talk about uh, probably at least two videos, maybe three, is strumming songs, picking songs, any limitations that the baritone uke has in either. Honestly, in the strumming, I don't think that it has that many limitations. A little bit in the finger picking, and we will look at that. And when I lead worship, uh, which is my background, um, I always finger picked towards the end of the set. And I will show you guys what I mean by that and how uh, using the baritone will be a little bit different, but it'll sound great. Nobody's going to know. So today I want to talk about two songs, just two songs, both in the key of D and both in 3-4 time. What I like to do, if possible, in my worship, the starting and stopping, it just drives me nuts. My whole goal in worship is to become invisible so people can focus on Christ and not the worship team. Therefore, I want to be well practiced. I want to know what I'm doing. I want the team to know what they're doing, where we're going, and to try as much as possible to have the songs run very seamlessly together. These two songs, one is in moments like these. The other is the chorus of Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus, key of D, three, four time or waltz time and basically do them as one song. Normally what I would do would be, I would do in moments like these a couple of times, transition right into Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus, and then as the Lord would lead, I might even go back into a, one more chorus of in moments like these as you know the Spirit leads. That's all up to you. So um, I'm gonna run through these strumming and then just talk about a couple little things and uh, now when I do uh, lead worship, many times, especially if I'm going from, say, a faster to a slower song, I will start out by instrumentally playing the first line of the song to help me to get in that groove and that timing and tempo. But also for those that are listening, they'll, many of them will know what song it's going to be. So when we start, we start pretty strong. So... Uh, in moments like these, then turn your eyes upon Jesus. I think I'll just go through each one one time, just so you kind of get a feel of the transition from song to song. See you. 
of us will grow strange in the light of his glory and grace now you can see with those two songs you could go you could go on for quite a while especially with turn your eyes upon jesus that's just the chorus of the song and people know that the thing is is when i lead this is probably one of my biggest beefs about worship today i don't want to be focused on a screen or overheads or slides i want to be focused on the lord so i um i like to and in classic worship you'll see this a lot of the older worship was shorter songs that I had to learn all on my own. When I first started going to church, we didn't even have printouts. We had no overheads, we had no slides. We just had to sing the songs and learn them. And I was brand new at it. I didn't know anything about any of the songs. So they were so simple uh, that you could learn them and close your eyes and worship, which is really what it's about, right? So. Uh, the only thing I really did there was uh, usually when I transitioned from one to the other, get to the end of I Love You, I did an A7 suspended. And then I went right into Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus. Now at the end, sometimes I'll do that if I'm playing in D, is I'll do a D suspended four, so I'll go open it up. I would say the main goal is become invisible, know your song, and uh, lead the people so they can truly worship. Now, uh, the next video I'm going to talk about finger picking, something I love to do, and we'll talk about some of the limitations, etc., in finger picking, what I call classic worship. Both of these songs are at least 20 years old. Turn your eyes upon Jesus is way older than that, but I was leading both of these 20 years ago. Anyway, can you use a baritone ukulele to lead worship? My answer to that is yes. Give it a try. And if you do, in the comments on YouTube or on my, my uh, blog, shoot me an email or something and say, hey, I did it, and let me know how it worked out. Till next time, God bless you.